So it stopped raining for like an hour. <laughs> Got a few things done today. We thought it was supposed to rain all week and then I've been waiting because I got I had my tank for a while now. This is my freshwater tank and I finally mounted it yesterday. I mounted it while I was or no, it was the day before. It's all blurring together now. But it was one day where it stopped raining. I came out here and I wasn't able to get out here till four and it gets the sun goes down at like five o'clock and I was out here till eight thirty. I had like lights set up and everything. I just had to get it done, so I didn't make any videos. But it's the same setup as my gray water tank, so just watch the gray water tank video and you'll know what's going on. And what I did, it worked out pretty well. It was very frustrating to do it. It was like lots of swear words and stuff, but um, yeah. I'm happy with how it came out and I've just punched holes through for the water fill and for the water pull. So over here somewhere is where I'm going to put my, my hook up so that you can fill the tank. And then over here, I've already drilled a hole and put, uh, you can see it's at the line right here. This is where water is going to come in and go up to the bus. This line coming in right here is the line for my fresh water. So it's going to pull water from the tank through this hose using my pump, which is right here. Got the Seaflow Series 54 pump. Um, and then over here we have inlets. So I'm going to be installing a um, on the outside a connection for city water. And that's what these hoses are for. This one is for the gravity feed. So you can just basically pour like a bucket of water and it'll go into the uh, down into my tank. And this is my air vent which will also connect to the same uh, apparatus on the outside, but it's really just may, it's just to uh, allow air to, to flow freely in and out of the tank so that uh, the tank doesn't implode or get over full, um, just kind of keeps it equalized. There's also this fill line, which is a uh, three quarter inch PEX, and that is going to be for the city hookup and I will then have the option to, when we connect to the city line, I will have a valve that I can flip that will allow me to fill my tank while I'm connected. So we can continually use the city, the city water for all of the, uh, all the appliances, bypassing the, the pump. Um, but in some downtime, I can just flip that on, fill up my tank while I'm at it. And uh, yeah, it'll be that easy. All right, so this is my diagram of how my water is going to be set up. That's my hot water heater on the diagram. There's my hot water heater in real life. There's my pump. There's my pump, um, etc. So what I'm gonna start with is connecting, here's my fresh water tank. I'm gonna be connecting this half inch PEX line to my pump. So here's that half inch PEX line. There's my pump. I'm going to make a cut about down here and connect it right there. We got a little strainer and then the pump itself. And then I'm going to mount it on this wall inside this cabinet where the uh, hot water is also going to be. So it should go like right about there. Okay, it was a pretty tight spot, so I had to move my water heater to get out of the way. Luckily it's not installed yet. And uh, they say that you can mount this in any position, any orientation, so that's the orientation I chose. It's a little bit diagonal, not quite horizontal or vertical, which is not pretty, but it's not going to be seen. This is a utility cabinet. Um, and the reason that I did it this way is to minimize the stress on that pipe right there. I pushed, I pushed it as far back as possible um, so the pipe comes up and it's just like a smooth transition right into the pump and then I'm going to have my, uh, I forget exactly what you call this thing, accumulator tank which looks like this 
that's going to go right after this. And this can also be put in any orientation, so it'll probably be something like that. Okay, with the help of my wife, I got the accumulator tank attached right afterwards. She also stepped on my diagram, so now it's all dirty. But this is what we've got so far. We got the half inch PEX coming out of the water tank into the pump, and then right here into the accumulator tank. And next is to start doing all the fun stuff. So do that another time.